Hi, I'm Dr. Sandeep Jha. I'm a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon. And I work as a consultant at Manipal Hospital, which is in Dwarka, Delhi, India. Today, we are going to talk about fibro scan. I frequently meet patients who tell me I had cirrhosis and now it is getting cured. So I'm clearly stumped because we know that cirrhosis is an irreversible condition and uh, there's no treatment modality that can cure cirrhosis. So I'm thinking, did the patient undergo a liver transplant? Then they fish out a fibro scan report and they tell me that a doc, I met a previous doctor who gave me few medications and my uh, fibro scan report has improved from a value of 32 to 22 and my cirrhosis is getting cured. Now that is a very wrong assumption. It does not work that way. As we know that there's a natural progression of chronic liver disease of cirrhosis. Initially, it might present as a fatty liver, which progresses to a liver fibrosis, which can progress to a cirrhosis and finally to a decompensated cirrhosis. And uh, the diagnostic modalities available with us are an ultrasound machine, uh, upper GI endoscopy, a CT or MRI, a fibro scan and a liver biopsy. These modalities are the ones that help us to diagnose cirrhosis or fibrosis. Now, all these, treat all these diagnostic modalities are used in particular situations to answer particular questions. So, depending on the scenario, a clinician judicially uses either of these tests to confirm a diagnosis of cirrhosis. Now, decompensated cirrhosis, which has clear-cut symptoms, is not very difficult to diagnose. It can be diagnosed on the basis of clinical symptoms, on the basis of history, and a few investigation can help us to confirm cirrhosis. The problem is in diagnosing early cirrhosis or early uh, or fibrosis of the liver. Now, if you look at an ultrasound uh, machine, it is even if the, there's a frank cirrhotic shrunken hard liver, it is very easy to diagnose on the ultrasound also. However, if it is early cirrhosis or fibrosis, it is very difficult to pick up on an ultrasound. And even very trained radiologists or clinicians uh, have difficulties in uh, making a definitive diagnosis of cirrhosis or basis of ultrasound in a case of early cirrhosis. Second is upper GI endoscopy, which helps us to see if there are esophageal varices, which tell us that the patient has portal hypertension. However, it is an indirect evidence of cirrhosis. Many patients can have esophageal varices with or without development of cirrhosis. So, or even on basis of endoscopy, we cannot confirm that the patient has cirrhosis or not. Other modalities are the, a CT scan or an MRI. And as you know, these uh, scans are not very easily available. They are expensive and they also hazard the exposure of contrast agents which can damage the kidney and also exposure to radiation in such patients. And furthermore, even in cases of early cirrhosis, sometimes a CT or MRI will also not be able to pick up early cirrhosis. The other modality that is available to us is a liver biopsy. And many times when the diagnosis of cirrhosis is not confirmed, then liver biopsy is used. In this test, we insert a needle into the liver and we take out a tissue of the liver and then examine it under microscope and then see if there's fibrosis or not in that tissue sample. If there's extensive fibrosis, we label it as cirrhosis. If there's early fibrosis, then it is mentioned as early fibrosis. However, it has its own flaws. There is a risk of complication, there's a risk of bleeding, there's a risk of pain, and it's an invasive procedure. And also it depends on where you have taken the liver biopsy. Sometimes few areas of the liver might not show fibrosis, whereas other areas might be extensively fibrosed. And then there's a risk that we might miss the diagnosis of cirrhosis. So the challenge is to diagnose early cirrhosis, which is not easily diagnosed by any of the investigations. And that's where the role of fibro scan is becoming increasingly important these days. And clinicians are extensively using fibro scan to answer that question. Now, fibro scan is a modification of an ultrasound machine where there's a specialized probe which sends a sound wave across your liver. And depending on the velocity of the sound wave, it helps to measure the liver stiffness or how hard the liver is which indirectly tells us the amount of fibrosis or cirrhosis in the liver. The another parameter that the fibroscan tells us is the amount of fat deposition 
in the liver. So fat deposition is expressed as the CAP score and the fibrosis is expressed as the KPA score in a fibroscan report. Now interpretation of a fibroscan report is very important. If the KPA value is above 12, then we can interpret that patient has significant amount of fibrosis in the liver, maybe bordering on cirrhosis in such a case. And if the KPA value is less than 7, then we can assume that there is no fibrosis in the liver and the liver is essentially normal. And that is the interpretation of fibroscan. Now, if we extend that interpretation to say that if the KPA value is coming uh, down from 40 to 35 or from 35 to 30 or from 30 to 25 it does not mean anything and we cannot extend it so liberally to assume that the liver fibrosis is getting better or the liver is getting cured so that is the limitation of this test however the importance of fibroscan is easily becoming more and more in cases where we have to diagnose uh, advanced fibrosis or early cirrhosis which can be missed on many of these investigations and it helps us to avoid a liver biopsy which is an invasive procedure and troublesome for the patient so if you look at a few sample fibroscan reports now if you look at a fibroscan report there's a cap value in this which is 241 which shows there's minimal amount of uh, fat deposition in the liver and the kp is 3.4 which shows that there's essentially no fibrosis in the liver and we have to look at another value that is iqr by median which is 14 percent in this report that means that this fibroscan is technically sound and this fibroscan report is reliable now we look at a, a second sample fibroscan report where the kp is uh, where cap is 215 which means that there's no fat deposition in the liver but the kp is 7.8 that means there's definitely some amount of fibrosis in this liver maybe early fibrosis and the iqr by median is one percent which shows that this uh, fibroscan is uh, sa technically sound and it can be relied upon now we look at a third sample fibroscan report where the kp is uh, where the cap is 355 which means there's significant amount of fat deposition in the liver and the kp is 30.8 which shows that there's significant amount of fibrosis in the liver bordering on cirrhosis in this patient and the iqr by median is 19 percent that means the fibroscan report is technically sound and it can be relied upon so this is uh, the interpretation that we can get from the fibroscan report and to make an assumption that if kpa value is improving from a very high value to a less uh, higher value and that means the cirrhosis is, is getting cured this could be a very wrong assumption and this should not be done so if you think this video had important information and you benefited from it then please like share and subscribe this video so that more and more people can benefit from it thank you